Our uh, headquarters is based in Doha, Qatar. So we came here for, uh, to Ethiopia. This is our third uh, trip. In uh, last year we came twice, and this is also our third. We came. We just signed an MOU with private uh, uh, Ethiopian bank as well to collaborate in terms of uh, capacity building, investment, and also representing corresponding bank as well as uh, bringing investment. Uh, joint, uh, joint venture partnership with the Ethiopian private banks, one of the private banks. We signed an MOU uh, yesterday uh, to introduce mainly uh, partners from uh, Middle East. So our aim is in uh, various uh, businesses. We have uh, an initiative program and uh, a project establishing a world-class uh, sport academy here in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa. And we are also aiming to have a meeting with uh, the government sectors in terms of to discuss about the location. Now we have investors as well from the Middle East who are partnering with us in this establishment of um, a world-known brand of uh, academy from Europe. That is also one of our main uh, trip here to Ethiopia. And also we have an IT sector, which is with uh, my partner Alam, who take care of uh, the technology side. We have uh, our workforce based in Qatar as well as in India. He will elaborate on that one. And then also with uh, John, he's also uh, one of my our partners, uh, mainly in the academy business, in the uh, sports academy. So I think we are very excited how the um, um, growth in Ethiopia, how the infrastructure, and uh, I think Ethiopia will be a very powerful and great country. Uh, There's very um, beautiful, a very uh, great hospitality people. So the reason we came here, there is a huge potential. Uh, and uh, we love the weather, we love the people, and also um, uh, um, Prime Minister's, uh, the way how um, his vision is. Uh, we would like to create a strong link between Middle East and uh, uh, not only Ethiopia, but the whole Africa, because Africa will be more important than ever, ever before in the next coming 50, 100 years. So this is why we would like to establish ourselves as early as possible in Africa. And uh, this uh, forum, investment forum, was fantastically set up. Congratulations. And I would like to give a chance to my partners, uh, John, to say a few words. Yeah, I am manager director from a, a shipping company. Uh, shipping, uh, we do inspections, uh, technical inspections in vessels, all kind of vessels, uh, oil tankers, uh, bull carriers, container ships, uh, worldwide. Uh, I come in uh, also, well, we work in different business. Uh, we come in with a great idea uh, for the people of uh, Ethiopia. Uh, to help them to improve their health, to, to sports, and to have technical, proper technical support uh, from the physiotherapy uh, side and from the uh, properly uh, bringing knowledge uh, from Europe uh, for the proper development of academy. A uh, football academy is going to be based, but we're going to also uh, help other sports like athletics, uh, swimming, and uh, all of that we want to bring everyone everything together and then with the with the expertise of a uh, uh, big, big clubs in europe uh, the idea is to to help the local let's say the local league football league to reach higher levels and then uh, to become probably football players and we have all the connections to bring them to the best leagues in the world action here but we also see there is a lot of opportunities in different areas like facility IT that we will we will have to discuss and, and take it forward from there and I'm the IT professionals uh, with the more than 15 years experience with the business of the IT's uh, we have the offices in the Middle East and the Asia's we got uh, around 130 people which is working with the different ty type of the technologies like uh, we working on the robotics cyber securities, uh, e-commerce platforms, which is how we are really expanding like Uber and all things in the all the world. Uh, we are uh, best in the IT and we are representing Qatar as IT companies in the all over the world. 
uh, as IT professionals, uh, we are planning to be, as our team leaders, uh, expanding to in the Middle East and the Africas. So we, we are targeting, you know, so that is our visit, plan is to visit in the Middle East two years to get uh, some information about uh, European markets, African markets. So we will planning to expand that things. So coming Utopia is a really very good country is there and the way the peoples are giving the hospitality is amazing and this investment firm is I think is really good for the as investors and the outside of the peoples to understand what is exactly requirement is there. So we have to target this type of the events so you now the peoples foreigners can come attend they understand they invest they understand the laws how they can invest where the sectors need to be improvements. So this is a really very good thing is there and the way the Ethiopia is uh, improving really appreciating for the all the leaders who is doing these things and really appreciate all your teams as well as my teams who is trying to be understand and we are trying to front to do something with the Utopia and that is really great. Thank you so much. Uh, so what I would like to add to what I said before also is uh, Gulf Africa uh, business representation. We have been introducing uh, high net worth people uh, to Africa to invest because we see huge potential for uh, mutual uh, benefit for investors as well as for the local markets and uh, because uh, we are also encouraging um, as you know African countries growing with the uh, uh, borderless um, trade which African countries can save over 540 billion uh, dollars per year by uh, trading among uh, free trade in Africa so in the Middle East, um, we are encouraging uh, high net worth people, private investors, as well as sovereign wealth investment from around uh, Gulf countries to um, Africa in various sectors. Uh, the main important sectors for the Middle East, as well as for secu food security in agricultural investment, technology, as well as tourism as well. It, I think uh, there is a huge potential in Ethiopia which is untapped business in terms of uh, agriculture, tourism, uh, manpower. Uh, so we are really excited uh, to become the biggest uh, bond between the Middle East as well as um, Africa. We, have, we represent also a Japanese company in manufacturing tourism submarines as well as other products from Japan, we in the Middle East, we have been representing them for the last uh, 10 years. This is also in our program to bring Japanese investors uh, and as well as uh, because of our presence um, office in London, UK, we aim to bring a lot of investment from Europe as well. So it's a good start. We are, it's very, very exciting. I would like to take this opportunity for the diaspora people also to come and invest Africa will be more important and more prosperous from any other uh, continent. This is a virgin uh, economy and the person or the company who make the move uh, quicker is the more beneficial. Well, I think today's event was, was very eventful. Um, it's only been half day, but the first session I think um, went very well in terms of framing um, the conference, um, the two-day conference. Uh, you will note that our discussion primarily was around um, capital markets and, 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 and the um, trade and development um, representative talked about the role that they could play um, uh, in terms of financing projects and, 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 um, and provide financing. Well, as you know, traditionally, Ethiopia has been a closed economy. Uh, and while we're opening up now to the world, there are various things that need to be put in place. Um, I'm sure you've heard me say that over and over again. We, it's, we have a very ambitious home economic um, uh, growth. Uh, um, and, and, and a lot of these reformers uh, center around financial uh, sector. Um, so so, so um, uh, what is needed vis-a-vis -vis what's happening now, um, sometimes there's a disparity that, that I think needs to be discussed. And, and the investors, I think there's a lot of people that came from, from outside of Ethiopia. So even like one, the first of, of, the, of its kind, this event, has attracted such interest. So you can imagine if, 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 if we do it over and over again, um, 
in, globally, the, the last frontier for, for investment is, is Africa. And I think Ethiopia will have a, a lion's share um, of that uh, money and investment that's going to come in. Um, we talked about capital markets, as, as, as you know. Um, we're hoping that um, be, being um, uh, a permanent board member, um, because accounting and auditing is such crucial for the success of, of the stock exchange, um, uh, we are hoping that it's going to be launched in, in, in two years. Um, is that ambitious? Um, maybe. Uh, but I think you need to start from there. So the various things that we talked about, like the various the training and, and capacity building in terms of human capital that are there to ensure the, the smooth um, um, launch of the stock exchange is important. Um, uh, there are many reforms like, like, like we talked about uh, today. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the capacity within the regulatory bodies has to be um, looked into. Um, as we talk about uh, human capital and, and ready uh, workforce in the market, we also have to look inside as, as regulatory bodies to see that we have the capacity to actually regulate the new, the new things that are coming um, traditionally that, that's, uh, that we don't know of. Um, so it was a good discussion, I think, um, and, I, and I hope the world can take it from there. In, in, in two folds, what could be the challenges? It, it, it's very difficult to foresee. Um, but one of the things we talked about is actually the human capital in the market, like we, like we said, you know. Um, I know the National Bank has a policy for the, for the financial institutions, which we're hoping would be one of the first to list. 2% um, of, 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 um, of their turnover, I think, needs to, needs to um, go to, to, to actually um, HR development. Uh, whether that's happening or not, I'm not so sure. But, but we, we want the kind of... Um, uh, professionalization, um, especially in the finance sector, to happen. We talked about chief finance officers that do not exist in the market. As far as I know, maybe in the financial sector, including bank and insurance, maybe their CFOs uh, who are qualified accountants, maybe a couple out of, out of all of it. Um, but, but the requirement of the capital markets over the stock exchange would be that any, anyone working um, the, to list or will, is, is, is uh, getting ready to list, will have their CFO as a, as a chartered accountant um, or CPA. So, so whether we have enough uh, of that in the market is, is, another, is another challenge. But the rest that comes with the regulatory issues, we can only know when, when, when it's launched. Um, the advantages is, is a lot, I think, I, in terms of the economy. Uh, we talked about perhaps participation of, of the majority of the population in, in wealth creation um, is, is, a, is, a big, um, is a big aspect. Um, the role of the diaspora in terms of their participation in the economic growth of the country is crucial. Not only their money, but, but, but sharing best practices and perhaps sharing knowledge um, to ensure that, that, you know, uh, that we do it uh, correctly. The first, run, the first time round. Every investment opportunity in Ethiopia is excellent. If we talk about real estate, if we talk about the health industry, especially pharmaceutical, if we talk about tourism, if we talk about the halal food, the meat industry and the agriculture, there's a lot of great opportunities. This land is um, abundant, the land has youth population, it has the drive, it has the ambition and it has the leadership towards doing it. We will work very, very closely. We've identified amazing opportunities and we have a lot of work ahead of us when we go back to Dubai to connect all these businesses together. We've also identified people from Ethiopia who want to come to Dubai and use Dubai as a base where they use our uh, logistical strength and arm to export Ethiopia to the world. Well, uh, having this forum is, uh, is, is something very uh, noble. We've been here as Dubai Chambers in the last 10 years. Um, my colleague Taiba um, uh, is always uh, in, in contact with the government officials and the private sectors to see how we can work. Um, and Ethiopia is not also strange to us. They've been our guest over and over in the Global Business Forum Africa. And we invite them again, of course, this uh, year to attend our 10th anniversary in, 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 uh, in November in, in Dubai.